Welcome to One Training, where we provide health and fitness content to help you achieve your goals. Choose the fitness course Professional Athletes Trust. Click the link in the comments to learn more. Here in my gym in Padstow, um, been here for 12 years. Before that I used to swim competitively and broke my back which sort of forced me to have a bit of a look at what I wanted to do moving forward and I'd always wanted to work with people and help them maximise their potential so started on the path of personal training and over that 12 years I've been able to recruit a team and, and build up a really nice community of people here within the local area that I grew up in and it's good, good fun. I'd always had an interest in training and programming and realised that I could sort of put that interest into helping other people improve in their life, whatever that looked like. I reflect back now 12 years on and when I first started training people, I expected the same of them as what I expected of myself as an athlete and was probably a bit hardcore in my expectations of them and didn't get the most out of them as a result. Now I've sort of developed a much greater appreciation for what it is that makes people who they are both mentally and physically and can manage them a bit more personally to get the most out of them. I've got another company called Journey Retreats where we take people away for health and fitness retreats in Bali and Michael Ramsey actually started that company. He owned five or six F45s in Victoria and Northern Territory and he saw that as an opportunity to take that database of clients away and suppose add a bit of value to their training experience. I came along, I was invited along as a coach and, and saw pretty quickly that there was an opportunity to do a bit more purposeful programming and really take people on a journey uh, from start to finish in the six night, seven day experience and help expose a, a bit of vulnerability so that they can realise their potential a little bit more using the training, the environment, the resort, the team and the experience of community to sort of bring a bit more out of them and it's been a really successful thing. best thing for me is people and, and managing those relationships. It could also be a very draining aspect of the job if you don't manage your own life well enough because it is very time consuming to be heavily invested in each individual that you work with. You might have six sessions back to back and your sixth session will be your sixth session but for that client it's their one hour. So you're constantly turning yourself back on every hour to give the best that you can, but that's part of the job and that's why we do what we do. The worst part of the industry is probably being magnified by the prominence of social media and it's just the fickle, petty bullshit. Um, there's a lot of egos and wankers and pretentiousness in this industry, particularly through social media, and it tends to overshadow the bare basics of what training, nutrition, strength and conditioning really is. The principles of strength and conditioning and nutrition and the fundamentals of what it is that achieve results have been around for decades. And of course they can continue to be improved and refined and developed and we can learn new things. But often a lot of people come in with these new fads and these fancy shiny new approaches that just, they're sexy, but they're not effective and it distracts people from what they really need to be doing to achieve the result they're after. The trends over the next five years are probably going to be going back to basics. I think the world is starting to get a little bit more cluey on the fickleness of what we see on social media and these short-term fad approaches and realising that a maintainable lifestyle approach is probably much more in their best interest long term. Um, so going back to basics, focusing on accountability, more effectively being self-aware and having a better understanding of themselves and their own responsibility and accountability to their health and wellness. I'd like to see that become a trend. Whether or not that's sexy enough or, or generates enough revenue for, for businesses um, remains to be seen, but I think that's definitely where it should be headed. Success in the fitness industry for me is seeing our community, the people that I have direct face-to-face -face contact with, and I'm more passionate about that than I am social media. I don't post on that, rarely. 
anymore because I just find it a, a surface layer platform. Um, but I am very passionate about face-to-face -face relationships and success is seeing their lives positively enhanced and the direct knock-on effect that they have from learning a new movement or developing more strength or um, exposing more vulnerability to, to challenge themselves and the knock-on effect that has toward them becoming a more present parent or getting a promotion at work or having ful more fulfillment in their lives personally. That's why I'm in this and that's what success looks like for me.